they do not the victory will not go to them because they do not have allied victory clicking allied victory allows them automatically to win the game when the other team would be eliminated shared vision basically allows the other players to see what their friends are doing all their units will be revealed on their map all of the other allies players will be revealed on the map this is especially this is especially effective in an actual team game because you might need to know when your friends are in trouble and stuff like that or if you're kind of being the asshole and you're not revealing yourself and kind of using it as a way of manipulation so that later in the game without your players no friends you know and you're just going to ambush them um, it's an effective way to monitor them I'm not saying the ambush thing because I do that necessarily all the time but just just throwing that out there random star location actually kind of just random random star location indicates that uh, pretty much the end of the, they will be starting in random locate that you start not only in random locations but your color that you're generated is also random in a UMS map, you want random start location off because you don't want because if you're trying to do it with a specific color, you don't exactly want that on because your color will be randomized as well, as well as your location. Um, that's all I can say for forces and stuff. Sound bites allow you to import. Sound bites will allow you to import sounds from different from uh, different sections of your hard drive that you can use for the map. Let's see, like for example, we'll import a sound bite. We're gonna go into uh, RPG Maker 2003, the Lionel RPG. Uh, we'll go into sound. Um, we're gonna upload a Chewbacca sound bite. And um, now it's in this. Now it is in the database of this game. Pretty, you can also you can also export this sound. Also, if you if there's a sound if you're in a map right now and you're just if you're actually in a UMS map and you're taking a look at a soundboy and you're like oh shit I could use that soundboy for my map, you can export it and then save it into a different folder. You can also delete this using delete also deletes the soundboy. You can also play the soundboy to see how it sounds. <laughs> okay. And these are triggers. These are the stuff that uh, these are the stuff that actually make UMS maps how UMS how UMS maps are, and without them, they, we would never be able to play a game. We would never be able to uh, play an actual game ever. However, we won't go into this right away. We may not even go into this for this video. We just want you to get used to making a map. So we're going to close it. So we'll close this. I will tell you this though: these are the default triggers that are set for most. These are the default triggers that are set. If you edit them at any time, this map instantly become. This map will need to be played on UMS before they can actually be used. Because those stuff is hard. Because those stuff is like melee and free for all. Those triggers are hard coded. You can't set a me You can't edit the options here. Set to melee and hope you'll get what you want. It doesn't work that way. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set everything on terrain layer first because we want to get this start because we want to get this map started it's not going to exactly look amazing so to say but we'll exit but um we didn't it's going to at least, at least look decent after that we'll get into more than after we get through that we're going to get into more advanced shit um what we want first is we're going to first you're going to want to click on this this brings up the brush palette you can take a look at all the stuff right here this is water this this right here is water this right here is dirt. Those are usually the defaults. Those are usually be the ones you'll find most of the time. This is mud. This is whatever the fuck this is. Crushed rock, apparently. Here's some crev crevices. Some flagstones. Some ground. If you need a reference for uh, what kind of ground you're using, you can look at this. The brush palette will actually alter depending on what you use. So. What we're going to do is we're going to create this map. Um, we're going to surround the place with a high ground, with a high dirt. With a high dirt type thing. We're going to surround this base. We're going to, we're technically, we're going to make, it's going to be a melee, it's going to be like a melee map that we can use, that you can use, but it's also going to be a UMS map, because we're going to add some trick. because later on we're going to add some triggers. We just, 
I just think like first things first we should start getting used to this okay so we got this thing so we got this now the next thing we're doing is we're gonna create a brush palette all around here we're gonna create a brush palette in the areas that we don't honestly care for I think what I would do and um, while we're gonna do this we're and while I do this we're going to uh, put my iTunes on a little bit put this on a little bit softer so you can at least hear my voice See, I figured this music would be perfect for something like this. Now, um, okay, we got that section dealt with. Now we're gonna create a section on the other side. After that, we're gonna add some more. After that, we're gonna add some more stuff to the. Yeah, I'm not just an addict to Starcraft. I'm an addict to Stronghold too. Alright, so we got our two sides, enemy sides, okay? But, like, look at this. Look at the mini-map right here. Like, God, my God, is this plain. There's, like, almost no, there's, like, nothing. There's, like, no shit all. So we need to make some, so we need some designs, so we need some nice stuff out here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add a river. We're going to add a nice river. We're going to add a nice, poorly designed river. But we're going to, it'll be poorly designed, but it shall be a river. And that is what we are going for at this point. That's the only thing we need to be concerned about. <laughs> is it is the water? Yes. Can we not cross it? Yes. Then it doesn't matter. You people, when you actually make maps, you can start putting your stuff into detail. You can put yourself into more details. You can serve it. You can add more details. Okay, so we have a really shitty, we have a really shitty river, but it still, but it has the primary functions of a river. No, but it has the primary functions of a river. You can't cross it. So, the next thing with we'll it, I'm gonna smooth it out a little bit. The next thing, um, we still don't have enough designs out here. So we're gonna have some, so we're gonna create some random high dirts to create some map create like some sort of like structure to make it looks like some sort of thingies are around the area. Now we're gonna add some. Now we're gonna add some crevices around the area. But actually, instead of crevices, we'll put some flagstones around that general vicinity. We'll put some. We'll put a patch of low dirt right here. for this place since we'll have this side as the enemy base. I think for this side we'll actually like, create what, a ruins of like some form. Create some stuff around here. And for this section, we'll have like a low high ground one time. And create some like other shit around here. We're just doing random, just doing random stuff right now. Not exactly showing off any math skills. Can I just 